a lot of expectations heading into it. How, how do you guys feel like as a group you know, those expectations and, and would you classify this season as a disappointment not making the playoffs? Um, yeah, it's definitely uh, very disappointing uh, how, it, how it ended. You know, it's frustrating. You know, it's tough to even watch the playoffs, you know, knowing that uh, we could be there and uh, fighting. Domas, Mike talked a lot this season about you didn't catch teams by surprise anymore compared to last season. I'm just curious how you how you saw that and how you felt that on the court and how you think this team grew over the course of the year of recognizing that and still finding ways to win. Uh, for sure, you know, um, I don't think that's an excuse either because, I mean, you're playing against a team and uh, you need to win, you know, and you can't always catch them by surprise. But uh, I definitely felt like uh, post-All-Star break, we definitely had a lot of improvements there. And then, you know, we had a couple injuries go down, which kind of made us start again from the beginning and uh, figure this whole new rotation thing out. And uh, we ended up uh, falling short at the end. Uh, Domas, two questions for you. Number one, um, is, it, is it hard to, to look at this season and, and really assess, like, what it was? Do you take it at face value for, for the, the win total to where you finished in the West? Or do you look at some of the games that got away and, and you know, some of the injuries you dealt with and think that, you know, like as we've heard, this could have been maybe 51, 52 win team. Uh, definitely, yeah. It's hard to assess right now. Um, you know, I was talking to some of the guys, like, it wasn't a bad season, you know. We were always up on, on a good note, on a high, you know. Like, usually when you don't make the playoffs, you're, you have a losing record or you're almost at 500, you know. So it definitely didn't feel that this way. So the fact that we're not in the postseason is uh, definitely hard to swallow right now, so I can't really answer that. And, and Malik's future, obviously, is a big focal point right now. How, how important has he been? And, and you know, do you even, do, do you approach him? Do you say anything just about how, how much you guys would love to, to uh, keep Try it every day um, since the beginning of training camp. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, uh, he knows how, uh, what I think of him and how much I care about him. So, yeah, hopefully we would uh, love to have him back. Domas, a uh, year ago, well, not this soon, though, but uh, after the season was over, after the uh, Warriors, series that you was in, you had mentioned that there were some things that you wanted to work on in the off season. It appears that you did because I mean, you were crazy with the uh, double doubles and, and you led the league in triple doubles. You know, going into this off season, because you and De'Aaron both have made improvements in your game, what are some of the things that you know you want to focus on individually to continue helping your team win? I think it's everything the same. You know, you just got to keep trying to focus on your craft and be more consistent, more efficient, more ways that you can help the team out. Uh, we clearly see we need more on this on this team, you know, uh, to compete with the best, especially in, in the West like this. So anyway, you know, we can improve our games to help help manage that gap. It's going to be a big, a big thing for us. Tomas, two questions for you. First, are you healthy heading into the offseason? If that's the case, does that change your offseason plans at all? Uh, no, yeah, everything is everything's good. And then two, you just alluded to a, what, what changes do you think that need to be made or need to be added to this roster that you guys didn't have this year? Uh, right now, for me, that's not a question for me. That's more for money and West. You know, um, we're going to have these meetings later. Thomas, um, as you kind of reflect on your, you know, your tenure here in Sacramento the past couple of years, um, how does it kind of feel, or how would you assess the way you've been able to evolve as a player, you know, kind of becoming the hub of the, of the offense and talk about the double double numbers, the triple double numbers, just your point of view, how, how does it feel to know um, you've evolved in this kind of way as, as a player in your state here in Sacramento? Uh, it's been it's been really fun, really fun. Um, like I always say, since the first day, you know, I've been welcomed here with, with uh, open arms, and it's made it very easy for me to transition and really be the player who I am today, you know, and, um, you know, I always give credit to my teammates, you know, they're the ones who make it easier for me on the court, so their trust allowing me to be me on the court is what's led me to be here. You, know, so the, you, you talked about you know you know those decisions of money and West. I'm just more curious. You know, you and Fox have obviously have such a commitment to financially, and wondering how how comfortable maybe you having a voice in some of the decision making that goes on with this organization. Like, do you feel like you you have an impact in that way and have the freedom to speak up in in, in that regard? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, Monty and West have always been uh, really open with me and um, including me in some big decisions. You know, which I appreciate. You know, um, and um, hopefully it keeps. Moving forward, let that way be done. We have a big summer coming up. Domas, your individual accomplishments this year from the triple doubles, the double doubles, everything of, of that nature. I know it's focused on from an individual standpoint and as an individual staff, but how did the team kind of grow around you and, and get to a point to where you were able to have that success? 
you know, just every day grinding, being together, you know, um, learning from each other each game. Um, season was a lot of ups and downs, you know, uh, with everyone with rotations, guys coming in and out, next man up. And us adapting to that, I feel like, is what um, kind of helped us get to where we were, you know, we just fell short of the year. Dylan Moss, I know last season, last summer you worked with Doug all, all summer long on sort of the finer nuances of the game. What is it that you plan on focusing on this season, especially uh, the jump shooting? Is it more threes? Is it more mid-range? What is it you're trying to work on? Like I say, you know, it's, a, it's always a bit of everything, you know, my overall game. I, I feel like, you know, through the offense, I kind of have to have a threat everywhere on the court um, since I'm getting a play through, you know, in, on the elbow and situation like that. Um, but knowing that he already has a whole book written, written for me and we got to go over over it now and um, he's very creative you know and we're going to get to work straight away. With you and De'Aaron being the stars of this team how do you feel like you guys did this year as leaders on and off the court and where can you continue to grow? I feel like there's there's always room to uh, always, always room to improve and, and to grow in that situation you know and um, yeah you know De'Aaron has grown huge you know uh, speaking Speaking up, you know, keep, keep keeping guys accountable, you know, and uh, I, th I think it's definitely showing, you know, and um, we just got to kind of keep <clears throat> adding on to that into next year, you know, um, with this group or whatever, whatever may happen, I don't know. Uh, Domas, you're, you're locked in for, you know, for quite a while financially and, and mm -hmm. contract-wise here. De'Aaron's, you know, going to come up sooner or later. Uh, Keegan's going to come up. Um, do you worry that when, when you take what might feel like a step back this year, that, that maybe some of the guys around you, their confidence gets shaken? Does your confidence get shaken in, in the direction and um, where you guys are going and, and what you can be? Uh, I definitely don't think it's shaken. Um, if anything, it will just motivate us more. I, always, I do believe that there always has to be a little step back before you kind of climb up all the way to the top. So um, the fact that it happened now, you know, I'm only hoping for uh, good things moving forward. Don't last on your right here. You've been asked about this a lot all season long, but now that it's over, the offensive side of the ball just wasn't what it was last year. The defense got better. You're obviously incredibly important on that end. Just what's your final assessment of, of why the offense seemed to take a step back and, and how big of a part of the offseason conversation is that going to be? Uh, I think it's going to be big. We've got to go over things and see how we want to play. You know, uh, we had a really good year offensively last year, and this year, um, obviously the year before, we had a lot of players having career years, <laughs> if, if, if efficiency-wise, you know, and all that stuff, you know, so that obviously had an effect this year, but um, there's always ways to improve and get better shots, and um, it should definitely be a big emphasis this summer, um, go, going into training camp to see how we can kind of adjust that or make it better or see what players think. The most, one of those career guys was, was Malik, obviously, and talked about, you know, almost campaigning for him a little bit and trying to convince him, but can you speak to just his overall importance and to this roster that you feel he has, and did it take even that much more of a step this year for Miles? Yeah, you know, with Malik, it's not even on the court. It's everything he does off the court. You know, he keeps us together. Uh, he brings this energy, you know. Um, he always has guys with a smile on their face, you know, and kind of has that off-court vibe that every team's looking for a guy like that on the team, you know, and he definitely brings that with this group where we have a couple of more quiet guys. Anything else? Thanks, everyone. Thanks, thank you guys. Oh.